I think it's hard to live in Ghana because of the type of mindset you have. So today I'm going to be spilling all the tea. I'm going to be telling you some of the mindsets that you have that makes it so hard for you to survive living in Ghana. And we're going to start right now. The first and most important thing I'm going to talk about is that Ghana is actually not a Western country. Ghana is just another West African country that is trying to develop itself. So you can't compare staying in the US or in the UK or Italy or wherever you're from to Ghana. Uh, I am not trying to bash Ghana. This is a disclaimer. The truth is you're just going to have to learn to adapt and realize that you're living in another African country. The economic is different and there are so many difference between Western countries and African countries. So if you fail to accept that and you're like, oh, I'm going to live the same lifestyle I have been living in this country here in Ghana, then it's going to be more difficult for you because some of the houses that you guys actually pay for, let's say maybe a thousand plus dollars in the US or in the UK, is maybe around five thousand plus dollars here in Ghana to rent. So if you're coming in and you're like, oh, I'm going to live in the same type of house I was living in. I'm going to ride the same type of car I was riding in the UK and stuff like that. It's going to be really hard to sustain such life because keep in mind when you just come here, it's not like you're going to get a job super fast or anything like that. But if you have a business already running and stuff like that, then it's pretty cool. But you actually have to learn to settle in first look at your situation look at what's um, happening currently and then you can actually try to like plan like how you're gonna go about your life another thing i realized is that some of the youth show up or young adults show up and they're like okay my bank account is more secure so if i go to ghana i'm just gonna live a certain type of lifestyle eventually you're gonna have to get a permanent job or something like that to sustain certain lifestyle here like you can't just live off a setting set of bank account if you know what i'm saying except you are a billionaire or a millionaire and stuff like that and even billionaires and millionaires i guess they're still like working behind the scenes to keep their money growing or keep it at where it is so definitely you're gonna need a job okay so make that make sense another thing is people make the mistake of thinking that Ghanaian cds is actually the same as dollars it's not I mean, it's clear. Some of you see it, but then some people go to buy stuff and they're like, oh, and Trader Joe's is expensive. Malcolm is super cheap. I'm not gonna lie, I have been a victim of that. Especially if you're someone who actually handles a lot of US dollars and you change your money to Ghana CDs and you try to spend it. It's like you're not spending a lot of money, at least that's what you feel on the spot. But then, you realize afterwards that you have just wasted a lot of money by doing comparison with prices so adapt to the Ghanaian cds learn how the cds is used and you're gonna save yourself a lot of stress you're also gonna save yourself a lot of regret after a decent number of time you know sometimes when you look at stuff and you just buy and buy and buy and then you realize that you don't really need it but because it was super cheap so you decided to get it and then later on you regret it and you don't really know what to do with those things that's how your money actually go to waste so one tip i'll give you is to actually learn how to budget especially if you live in Ghana. budgeting is key hunty if you don't know how to budget you're gonna waste money and that is how your bank account is just gonna keep going down the line and you're not gonna realize it until you actually go broke so please don't do the comparison thing learn to use the Ghana cds it's gonna be more preferable and budget Thank you. So another thing that a lot of people don't talk about, which I actually plan on making a whole video on is that keep in mind, even if you have a job in Ghana, it's not going to be the same as your previous job, like the same pay you get from your previous job. 
I understand the whole situation of payments here because their currency is different, okay? And they respect their currency more than any other currencies out there. So when they're paying you, they focus on like CDs. So depending on the type of job, let's say you are getting a minimum wage job, nobody will want to pay you like 12,000 Ghana CDs or even 10,000 Ghana CDs. That may sound like a whole lot of money to them because keep in mind, again, they're used to the currency. They're used to their own money. So if someone sit and say, hold $10,000, I'm giving it to this person, and keep in mind also your type of job, okay? You who they're saying hold 10,000 Ghana CDs, you convert it to US dollars or British pound or euros, and you realize that it's not a lot of money, you get disappointed, but it's understandable because it's your currency, it's what they're used to. That's why I say you have to adjust, because if you don't, you're gonna like not really survive, and you have to change your mindset from whatever old mindset you had when you were coming or when you watch all those YouTube videos. Because the thing is, here they don't pay you per hours. That is legit. They don't pay you per hours. They pay you per month. They don't pay you per day or per week or per hour per minute. They don't do that. So, if you think getting a job in Ghana is gonna be like, oh, I got a job so I can still live lavish. That's just how it is. It is what it is. And like I said before, you can live your similar life, so you have to make adjustment and you have to be more honest with yourself. I feel like there are people who actually feel like they have to prove something to other people and stuff like that. And it is not really necessary because let me put it 100 to you guys, Ghana is actually a place of hustle. Like if you don't have the hustle mindset from the start, you're definitely gonna have the hustle mindset because Ghana is definitely gonna humble you if you're not humble, that is, that is if you're not humble. Ghana will humble you 100%, no cap. You're gonna become so humble. When you look at your old self, you're gonna be like, yo, I don't know what I was thinking back then. If you're not economical, you're gonna become economical here. Because I'm not gonna cap to you, like, you're not gonna realize how you're spending your money. Okay, this one is mostly directed to youth, teenagers, and stuff like that who love to party. Having a social life is not a bad thing. But here, I mean, like, here in Ghana. If you get carried away because the social life here is huge like it's mad huge so if you get carried away you're definitely gonna be broke like honestly speaking you're gonna be broke the reason I'm saying this is because I know a lot of you guys wouldn't want to go to a pod or something like that I don't even know that's a word I don't even know if that's how they call those type of places but you know like just in local entertainment centers and stuff a lot of you guys wouldn't want to go there you want to go to places like bloom bars and uh, places around the airport Laboni and stuff like that and those places are expensive you're gonna spend money sometimes you're even gonna spend closer to thousand dollar per day without you even realizing it like that is if you are a groupy type of person where you like to hang out with your friends and stuff like that and you just like to chill my advice to you is just don't get carried away with the whole social life you have to like find balance with actually structuring your life and balancing your social life other than that if you let your social life take over your personal life in professional life it's gonna get more chaotic you're gonna find it hard to survive here so please don't do that my last thing to talk about is once you come to Ghana it is very important to have a backup saving if you don't have a backup saving 
every single month you are gonna go broke especially i'm not bashing anyone but those people who actually believe in the hand to mouth type of situation is a very dangerous move to make in ghana other than that you're gonna get broke so don't do that stay on your guard stay on your grind remember ghana is another place of hustling it is just developing and stuff like that and people are actually trying to make it out here so do not come and say oh i'm gonna live my old life and stuff like that here we want you to grind and we want you to prove to whoever you want to prove to that there is actually a decent set of life in ghana that you can actually sustain yourself now i know a lot of people think that ghana is not expensive which i also have the mindset that ghana is not expensive if you adjust your lifestyle if you adapt to how Ghanaians live here you're gonna find that Ghana is not expensive but if you're gonna keep carrying the mindset of oh uh, Ghana is is cheap then definitely like having the mindset continuously that Ghana is cheap and not knowing that you're actually hurting your bank account is gonna affect you so adjust adapt stay on your grind just because you think that you have made a lot of money in a western country it's gonna take you long here i mean depending on how much you make that's why i said if you're a billionaire or a millionaire and you still have a backup plan that is why backup plans are more important so yeah guys so thank you guys so much for watching this video i know i kind of like rumbled a bit in this video is because Honestly speaking, this topic is very sensitive because I have seen a lot of people on the internet complaining about how difficult it is to survive and stuff like that. And yeah, so I thought maybe I could share something with you guys. So thank you guys. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. I hope to see you again on this channel in the next one. Don't forget to leave in the comment section content ideas that you want to see and I will definitely make those type of content for you guys especially. I love you guys so much. I appreciate the love and support and yeah. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. But turn on post notification bell because you don't want to miss out. So yeah, I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Love ya and stay true to yourself and peace. We're out guys.